Hi there, welcome to this new ADSR video. It's me, Mark. You probably know me from the Zebra tutorials. I'm now doing some Absinthe 5 tutorials as well. Uh, so welcome to this first video from me regarding Absinthe. Today I'm just going to, I'm going to start at the basics and we'll get a bit more complicated as time goes on. But today I'm going to show you something that not a lot of people know about Absinthe and that's how to use its envelopes as a step sequencer. Now, um, I'll put the YouTube channel up there. Make sure you join that, uh, subscribe to that so that you don't miss any other videos. Okay, let's get on with it. So I've just gone file new sound. So we just go to patch and all we've got is this. This one note. Okay, so I'm just going to make that a little bit more interesting. I'm just going to click on where it says sign and I'm going to select simple waves and saw reel. Sorry, that was just a car beeping its horn. So I've just gone to where it said sign and selected Sorio. You all know what that sounds like. I'll just drop the volume on that a little bit. And I'm just going to smoothen it out a bit. And oscillator B, I'm going to select Sorio as well. And an oscillator C. And then I'll select something different. Square fractal, let's try that. So what have we got? Okay, so let's just drop these at the moment and I'm just going to run I'm just going to drop that by 12 semitones or one octave uh, the same with this one here and I'll just leave this one as normal Okay, I know it's not the most exciting sound in the world, but we're just going to, I'm just creating a sound to show you the step sequencer. Okay, so there we've got a three oscillator sound. It's not particularly a great sound, but that doesn't really matter. In fact, let's just put this down by four semitones, which is a third. Okay, that kind of gives it a better sound to work with. Now, if you go to the envelope section, you'll see we've got oscillator A amp, B amp, and C amp. Now, that's the amplitude envelope for each of the oscillators here. Now, what we're going to do, just to make this a little bit more interesting, is we're going to use a step sequencer. Now, you'll notice that in Absinthe, there is no arpeggiator and there is no step sequencer like you would expect in maybe something like Zebra. So, the way we do it is we come to envelope, we select oscillator amp A, I'll just go back to patch and I'll just turn these two off so we can just work with this one. Okay, that'll do. So, oscillator A amp, and we're just going to come to the transform section here and go to load envelope template, and we'll just look for one of the step sequences. So we'll just use the eighth. So now the amplitude envelope is now a step sequencer. Okay, you can't really hear it there, but if I do this, So there you have it, it's that easy. You've now got an amplitude step envelope on oscillator A. Now, what I'm going to do is um, come up here to edit and select copy envelope. Come to oscillator B, go back to edit and select paste envelope. And I'll just show you how I've done that again. So I want to copy, copy oscillator A's amplitude step sequence envelope so we just come to edit copy envelope go to oscillator C edit paste envelope so now each one of them has got that step uh, that step sequencer on the amplitude of each oscillator so if I come back to the patch now and turn all three of them on this is what you'll get So they're all playing. That step sequence. Okay, and 
Obviously, it doesn't sound that great, but the great thing about it is you can add this step sequencer to anything that you can create an envelope for, which is really good. So if I go to New, and what we'll probably want is Filter Master 2, which is our filter here. Yeah, we want that, so New, Filter Master 2, and we just want the frequency. So this is now creating a filter frequency envelope. Now you can do it whatever you like again, but if, even if we just go edit, paste envelope, we've now all, we've now got the same envelope controlling the cutoffs filter frequency. So let's have a listen. You may want to change that around. Quite know what happened there. I must have moved them accidentally. I did. Okay, so so it's now controlling the filter. Like you could do a filter sweep. Obviously that will be better depending on what type of filter it is. If we go back to the patch and maybe change that filter to a low pass 8. So as you can see the filters open up the top there. Maybe that's not what you want. Maybe you want it to go this way. That's your classic filter sweep, but that's in a step sequencer, or using a step sequencer to create that. So you can be as creative as you want, that's the filter opening up, and obviously the, um, depends on how you've got the filter set. Nothing will come through now. Anything below 500. And if you wanted to, again, you can come back, copy this envelope, just select all of that. You don't even have to do that, you just have to go edit, copy envelope, and then come back here, hit new, go resonance, filter master resonance, OK, edit, paste, and you've got a resonance sweep as well. Oh. So quite handy. Especially when you're using a tool that actually doesn't have a step sequencer or an arpeggiator. And of course this can all be changed and manipulated in your own ways, but I just wanted to show you this because not a lot of people know about this, the ability of Absinthe to have this step sequencer put in play, uh, or used through the envelopes. So, um, of course, it can be, you can make, I could, for instance, come into here and go new and go oscillator A and use any one of these as well. So you could use, like for instance, the main pitch of oscillator A, you could edit and paste that in. See what that sounds like. Now that's a pitch. That's controlling pitch. So you can see, very useful. And very easy to do, actually. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to making more Absinthe videos for you. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye.